Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series to celebrate Europa Universalis 4's brand new Mandate of Heaven expansion. So, I did a stream on Friday, April 7th to celebrate the, re the dual release of Mandate of Heaven and Stellaris' Utopia expansion, and you'll notice series are out for both of them now. Or, well, the second one will be out shortly. I think this will come out before Stellaris. And during that stream, I realized there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So I wanted to do a playthrough for it. So this is Europa Univalis 4. I think this is the first time that, um, that I've played this on, uh, what do you call it, my channel. At least in, um... In this version. So to do something special, we are going to play as one of the kingdoms of Japan. So there are a lot of kingdoms. There's... I mean, oh, they're all over the place. Ando, Nambu, Hanyu, uh, Date, Shiba. Like, uh, basically what's going on is the uh, Sengoku Jida period. I think that's how you say it. Basically where the giant civil war broke out and eventually the... Tokugawa would be the ones who would secure the shogunate for time and memorial until the United States shows up and gets things all messy. So I'm actually looking for a very specific uh, group, but I don't know, honestly, like, if I don't know who would it would be exactly. Um, uh, I'm look. I'm looking for Nobunaga Oda. I'll be blunt. I'm looking for the Oda clan. Because I, I know a little bit about their history, but I'm terribly rusty at when it comes to, uh... When it comes to their, uh... Okay, so there's Uzuki, Chiba, Ashigaki, Aito, Shimazu, Uchi. So I know that, like, Nobunaga Oda was the big guy. But I cannot, for the love of me, remember where his province is. That kind of bothers me just a little bit. So, Ashi, uh, who do you call it? So these guys are the current, uh, the current Shogun, but basically Civil War is going to break out real fast. Is it this one? Nope, Tsutsui. Ah, I could have sworn it was around here somewhere. It's got to it's got to be this one cuz that's his crest. I recognize the crest. So we are going to play as Ashigaki Kakikoda. Like I'm not even seeing Tokugawa as the thing. Like This is what's bothering me. It's like I'm not seeing a lot of the big names. Eh, screw it. I'm gonna play as Duosugi. I always liked Kenshin. Uh, actually, that's a pretty big group. I want to play as one of the One Province Miners. What about Date? Are they One Province? Uh... Date is technically One Province, so I think I'll play as them. I liked Masamune in... Um, the reason I know some of this is because I played the Samurai Warrior games, and then... I stumbled across the uh, Sengoku Jita anime a couple years ago, so I remember, like, it was Masamune Date versus um, Yukimura... I don't remember if he had a clan name, but he served the... Uh, he serves Takeda, the red guys, over somewhere. The orange guys right there. See, like, that's a crest I recognize. But I'm gonna play as Date, conquer the north, and then try and take over all of Japan. Easy enough, right? Wrong. Okay. Kind of want to do Iron Man. Oh, come really? Fine. Okay, this is not like House of Alice where I absolutely need it to. Date YouTube. I absolutely have to survive. I'm fine if we lose this. This is more to showcase the patch than actually do a full playthrough. Now, the reason we're playing in Japan is because Ming is too damn big. Over there, freaking Ming. And I kind of know Japan, uh, Japan better. And you have more fun options with Japan. 
All right, so uh, a lot of the first few episodes are just going to be explaining the difference between EU4 and uh, Crusader Kings 2. Anyone who watches House of Valis, this is what's going to happen when House of Valis becomes Empire of Valis. I mean, it's already the Empire, but when 1432 hits, I'm going to export the game to this game and the map will be shifted accordingly. It's actually really cool when that happens. All right, so we are the Date people. We have a pretty well-developed uh, location, actually. We have nine development. I think that's pretty good compared to our neighbors. Okay, Uesugi's bigger, but we are better than some of the other zones. We, even the Nambu. Okay, uh, especially better than you. So, let's see. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is assign your fleets to a task. So you want to take your light ship fleet, you want to select a mission, you want to tell it to protect trade. And then it will protect the trade in the Nimpon region, which is where we are. This is where our trade is. Now, we actually usually have two merchants, but oh, I guess they're not doing anything right now. Uh, wiki. So merchant... Collect uh, collect from trade in this region, and then I guess I can have... Uh, where Where's that trade map mode again? I don't have access to... Uh, I can't see overseas, so I can't really steer trade. I mean, I guess I could steer trade up in... Giren. So I guess that could be your job. Uh... Yeah, Giren. Can I not transfer? Okay, I'm out of range. So I'm just going to have a spare uh, spare merchant for a little while, which is fine. Uh, diplomats. Okay, so everybody starts off under the uh, diplomacy. We are a... Uh, Date is daimyo of that. So basically... Military, uh, conditional military access. Okay, so we all have some military access. Has war for emperor against a lot of things. And I have the Sengoku Casas Belly against a lot of other people too. So war will be quick, so we need rivals. So we're going to take down Uzen, Ugo, and Mutsu. So we're going to rival them, and this will give us bonuses against them. So, uh... Okay, so Shiba, Ando, even though they like us, and let me guess, this. Nambu, and we don't want to rival the Uesugi, so I guess, and then we'll do Utsunemiya? Yeah, them. Because I'm guessing, yeah, they already rivaled us, so that's not good, which is bad because i would have really really liked to be an ally of them instead so um there was some kind of like diplomatic map maker thing i saw someone use in a video um apparently we can mess with china uh we need a mission improve our prestige the bushido code uh have an army tradition of at least 25 percent and the rice sowing season get some stability well i think we can ah, maybe um national decisions japan is united uh owns kyoto owns musashi i must want to be true okay apparently i cannot be those things and then i become japan a feudal monarchy with a lot of stuff so that's pretty nice but i don't know if we're gonna make it uh, let's try the rice sowing season. Chances of getting some stability aren't too low. Okay, what kind of income do we have? We have little to no income, so advisors are not gonna be a thing. This is our army. Checking out the new sprites from, uh, that came out with the patch. We have some very awesome samurai. And, oh, what's that phrase again for the, uh... I'm trying to think back to Total War. Basically, it's the the peasants. So we have... We should have a free leader. 
Yeah, hell, let's just make the ruler a leader. Boom. So we have that. We have a good leader. Now, oh, I don't like that they rivaled me. They rivaled, uh, they rivaled Shiba, me, and Imagawa. So, Shiba, me, and... Where's Imagawa? Imagawa, right down there. So, they're the big ones. So, we want to try not to have war with them. So, I am going to improve relations with them to try and, well, make them hate me less. So I could push it just out of rival, but it's going to take most of our time. Um, a lot of right now is just going to be waiting, uh, the waiting game. I'm going to speed up to three times. And I guess since Shiba, since we are hostile with Shiba, I will start fabricating a claim on them. So covert, we need to build a spy network to fabricate a claim. I mean, theoretically, we could... I must wait until December 11th to declare any wars. Uh, forcibly expel Ronin. So this reduces liberty desires. I think against everybody. So we're going to build the spy network to fabricate claims. And I'm going to let stuff play out. Um, is now careful. Okay, so our leaders now can gain traits. Interesting. That's new. Uh, we are... Show me. So, Lord... Uh, he is a human. Of course, he doesn't have a personality. Um, where are his... Where's the place to show my traits? Uh, we have Chinese and we have feudalism. Okay. Um, oh great. Babbling buffoon. National unrest and aggressive expansion. Overestimate enemy stakes. Start one-sided wars. Start fair wars. Prefer to pick someone of their own side. Okay. So that's gonna be that. Um, okay, wars can be declared, and we have an alliance offer from Satake. Who is that? That is them. Okay, I accept. We need we need alliances to keep the big guys in check, basically. So, um, opinion sort. Our liege. I don't think we can have an alliance with him. Uh, is there a back button anywhere? Nope. Okay, just click on my guys. Okay, so. Next up would be these guys who might be interested in an alliance. Uh, right, my diplomats are busy, so I can only... Okay, so we could support the merchants or lose some trade power. Well, we need all the trade power we can get. Support the merchants. Royal marriage, sure. I would say our prestige is currently in need of some help, so war will be rather useful as soon as we can. But, right, I'm doing the spy network thing. So it's growing fast enough, and I need to hit uh, 25 in order to fabricate a claim. Uh, how are we on funds? We have 20.23. What is the upkeep of a longbow? It is 0.21, therefore I shall grow... What? What is my current thing? Maybe one cavalry. No, that's... Uh, that's too much. I can't afford to upkeep that, so... We shall have one unit of infantry being trained. They'll give us a nice advantage. And then I can look into investing points. This is something that's been around for a couple expansions now, where if you're going to play a small thing, you can invest your technology points into instead increasing the power of your province. Very, very helpful to do that. All right. We have the... Uh, army formed. As far as I can tell, Shiba either doesn't have one or is already in a war. Okay, they've got some allies, so we gotta be careful. Like They've got Takeda as an ally. The Sugi is slowly learning to not hate us. Eventually, we can push them into the positive where they might drop the rivalry. 
because they would be the perfect ally because they're one of the biggest pre-existing countries. Having them would keep other nations from bothering us. There's no longer transfer trade power. Uh, those under the road have told they claim Ryuzen is their own. Wait, is Ryuzen my province? Or Ryuzen. So who did that? Oh, crap. Log. Okay, so... Uh... Is there a way to sort to, yeah, filter to messages about me? Yeah, that didn't work. Usugi. <laughs> Crap, he's claimed us. That is not good. That is very bad. We might be getting eliminated in episode one. Uh, Ronin offers his services. Um, a Ronin, a master that offered his services court. The man is young and his talents are not yet fully developed. So you give him a man, give the man a chance to develop these talents or send them off to less prestigious posts. Um, so we can pay and have a 33% chance. We do have a garrison somewhere in need of a captain. And we have no need of brigands and wayfarers. We are giving him a chance. All right. <laughs> uh, so we have the diplomatic insult against Sheba. I do not appreciate this insult. Of course, I can't declare war because things. Really hoping to push Uasuki out of the host out of the looking at me like I'm food. Uh, this is definitely not an ideal situation to be in, but it is what it is. Okay, um, I think we've got enough where I can recall the, all right, oh, I can do this without, um, removing my spy. Perfect, so we'll have the spy network now. Take that, and then I need to stop building the spy network, wait for my diplomat to return home, and then I can declare the war, and... And people would help them. God damn it. Well, I've got 25 years, but I need to make some uh, alliances. Otherwise, like, I'm just too weak. Okay, so I need me. Okay, they already like me. They'll ally with me. Exceptional swords. A uh, new smith has produced unparalleled quality. So yeah, army tradition is good. And I think they sent us a royal marriage offer. Which is good, because that increases our, our just general legitimacy, which is good. Alright, um... You are our next best chance. Pretty far down, but it would at least give us an ally... And I think that's all of our slots now for uh, Diplomacy. Um, I think... Kind of expecting that royal marriage to pop up any second now. Okay, so we could get one more. Who else? Okay, we got them. And the Amigo. Uh, Amago. We're not... Just barely would not. So we can improve relations on them for just a couple turns. Stop the improvements. And then we have to wait a couple days. The Onian War. Okay. This is it. This is the big thing. The tensions between Daimyo have spiraled out of control. And now war has broken out. The ramifications of this are felt throughout the Japanese islands. Our fellow Daimyos begin to take sides and alliances are brought into play. Whoever may win this current civil war, however, it is clear that the current shogunate is too weak to prevent it. We are not the only ones who have noticed this, and it is quite likely that this great war of the Onin period would result in a prolonged period of strife and warfare between the j different Japanese states. A country can take over the shogunate and become overlord of all daimyo subjects by taking the province of Kyoto. 
date get Date gets Sengoku Jida until a uh, Jedi until 18th of May 17 or 1476, giving the following effects: yearly army tradition decay negative. So we need to offer that alliance ASAP. Okay, death of a geisha. The geisha are typical female Japanese entertainment line. This year, one of the most well-known, well-liked, and died young. Died young after a short time of illness. The funeral. We must mourn her passing. Nangaku performance. Um, yeah, we need the inheritance. Uh, we need the prestige bad. Um, we got the alliance. Okay, now let's look at this son of a bitch. So, I guess we gotta wait for his allies to get busy in war. Uh -huh. So this is my ultimate goal, so... How do I get them to owe me favors? Crap, this is something I've currently forgotten. And they just won't accept. Because they're fighting already, okay. Uh. Royal marriage. So yeah, I guess we kind of just wait right now while the wars get going. So yeah, the uh, if we look now, the the daimyo thing is kind of shrinking. Very very quickly. Yeah, like if we look at the at the Shogun, he's lost a few people already. All right, well, um, still just that waiting game. How do I get favors? Um, who was one of my allies? Uh, you were diplomacy. No, I do not want to dissolve this alliance. I already have the thing. Influence action. Economy action. Access actions. Uh. Crap. I definitely realized I'm still unprepared for this. Oh boy. Traveling monk. Yes, I'm willing to aid this traveler. Uh, I'm going to mothball my transports, because I don't need them. It only saves a little bit, but it helps. Agricultural revolution! Bigger army, bigger tax. Um, I guess the tax right now, so that I can afford more troops. Actually, if I boost the base tax by one more, I can afford another troop, I think. Yep, I can afford another troop. Boom. My army will grow quite quickly. And since my leader is a pretty good general, I... Like, here's the thing. If it was just me on him, I'd have this. But his allies will defeat me because there's just so many of them. Oh, great. Someone has been building a spy network. Maintain that diplomat. We need them to not hate us. National Epic is fine. Please stop hating me. Uh, can I manually set my attitude? Okay, favors. No matter how much for good deeds. Okay, so what if I look at my uh, my ally? You. Diplomacy. Okay, so they owe us three favors. So these just generate over time, apparently. Oh, looks like they are actually getting whooped on right now.
So now that everyone's kind of gone to war, damn it. Okay, so who is it? It is okay, them. Takeda and Nanbu. And them. Yeah, so what about you? Who are you are? Oh, you're just allied with Sheba. Man, I should have been attacking you. Okay, you know what? I got a new plan. Build spy network. I got a new plan. I got a new plan. We're going to be okay. So I'm going to... I can beat these two at once. I can defeat these two guys. He doesn't actually have an army, but I need to attack... Moots, uh, need to attack the Nanbu instead of Sheba, and then I can take them both. Because, again, they don't seem to have ar ar an army at all. And then they don't like me either. I think I even have them rivaled. So yeah, what I need to do is just build up spy network. Oh, the, what the hell happened to that? I thought they liked me. Now they hate me because they want my provinces. Great. Well, there's nothing, no point in keeping that diplomat around any longer. I tried really hard to get them to not want to kill me. At least I have allies that are probably keeping them from doing that. Alright. Grow my spy network. Kind of all that's in my way. You're an ally of mine, right? Yeah. Enemy of my enemy. Damn shame I'm going to have to eat you at some point. Prepare to get crushed. Excellent. Gain two as a skill to trade efficiency trader. Well, I wish I could afford to pay that kind of stuff. Whoa, why am I losing money? Uh, Sophie fleet me. I'm guessing I just lost income somewhere. Well, what if I boost my, uh, what do you call it? What if I boost my trade value? And my base tax? Okay. I've made my province much more valuable now. No one else seems to be doing that. Of course, this does put me back on technology, but I feel like it's kind of worse. All right, so back in the positive, barely. I've got 20 points. I got me a claim. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to declare war on him. We're not going to bother calling in my allies. Uh, enemy man will not be considered Koblet. They will not be able to call their own allies. But it'll be twice as expensive to take the province. That's fine. Wait, don't I have the uh, conquest? Yeah, okay. Declare war. Conquest! I mean, I could do Sengoku. Um, okay, so what's the... By seizing land from a neighboring clan. I feel like that's the same thing. We lose. Yeah, it's better. Man, okay, I wasted my time. I'm I'm still figuring this out, but it all will be good. War! Bring it, bitch. All right, my uh my fleet is out, but I think it's safe. Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Oh, crap. Sheba did have an army this whole time. Well, I beat that one, though. And now the siege begins. Where is my fleet? Are they going home at war? Yeah, go home at war. So now the uh, other half of the game begins. It's called Waiting on Sieges. Whoa, what, 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 what?
Oh, I missed that. So blockades are a thing. Now, fortunately, I think once we're done reinforcing, I should be able to just take them one for one, but there is a river crossing I gotta take into account. Okay, so basically what's happening, this is a good opportunity to um, quickly explain the war system, and then I gotta end the episode. So, actually, you know, we'll explain it next episode. It's gonna take me a little while. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of EU4's Mandate of Heaven series. Uh, if you want to see more of EU4, CK2, and Ark Survival Evolved, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Farewell.